Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday, and welcome to this educational presentation where the topic of today is the secret to trading consistency. I know that's what everyone's looking for. You want to be consistent in the market, but most traders fail. And it really is simple. The secret to trading consistency is just this. You want to be in sync with whatever market, whatever time frame you're trading. That's it. Think of it. When you are out of sync with the market, that's when you lose and that's when you're inconsistent. When you're in sync with the market, that's when you're doing well. In other words, when the market goes up and you're a buyer, you do well. When the market goes down and you're a seller, you do well. Unfortunately, we're usually taught the opposite of this. And that's why so many traders fail. We're taught to buy something when it's too low or sell something when it's too high because we're trying to decide what the market's going to do. It's so much easier to get out of the way and just let the market tell us what it wants to do and then be in sync with it. So that's the secret to trading consistency. And we're going to talk about that in today's educational presentation. For example, looking at this chart right here, most traders would say, well, this is a chart of Meta, M-E-T-A. Uh, this was just coming into the beginning of this month. Well, obviously, we're in a downtrend. So, Steve, I'm in sync with this. I know what it's doing. I want to sell or I'm not going to be a buyer because it wants to go lower. Well, not really. With the method that I'll be teaching you today, I'm revealing to you, being in sync with the market was simple. It's a simple two-step process that actually would have identified this as a buy setup. And you could have potentially taken advantage of 35 points in the next three days. So remember, once again, the secret to consistency is not buying some $10,000 system. It's not in uh, how much money you have to, to trade with, hundreds of thousands of dollars, or how much experience you have. It's really in learning how to be in sync with the market. So that's what we're going to be talking about today, the secret to trading consistency. Now, the simple process that I will be revealing today isn't something that you have to calculate. It's not something that you have to, to wait for every bar to close and calculate and formulate and figure out what's going on. It's really simple. It's a two-click process on the PTS Primo charting platform. And in a matter of seconds, you'll know whether or not you're in sync with whatever market, whatever time frame you're trading. So welcome once again. This promises to be a great educational presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. If you're new to my webinars, as you can probably most likely tell by now, we're all about educating you. And the reason why we want to educate you is because in my 47 years of trading, I found out that the one thing that's lacking for most traders is that they don't make their own decisions. They rely on someone or something else to tell them what to do. And when we asked these traders when I found out myself through my own personal experience, it was because we were always taught to do the opposite. You're supposed to listen to some guy on TV, listening to what the uh, earnings reports are, listening to what the uh, you know so-called uh, trading gurus are telling you, and then we make your decision based off of them. And that really is the recipe for disaster. In my opinion, that is the main reason why most traders fail. Why? Because you're taking yourself out of the game. Now, there is a purpose to having a teacher or an educator, and that is to show you the way. But ultimately, after you learn how to trade, you've got to make your own trading decisions. That's why at Specialist Trading, we don't have chat rooms or trading rooms. I don't have a signal service where I tell you what to buy and sell on a nightly basis. That's for you to decide. I never tell my students what the best time frame is or what the best stock is or what I think the market's going to do. That's for you to decide. But what we do do at Specialist Trading, our, our main purpose is simply to educate you all the things that I've uh, seen and accumulated in my 47 years of trading that have worked and have high levels of consistency so that you can help you make your own trading decisions. That really is how you become a consistent trader. We'll see that in today's educational presentation. Now, before we begin, we are required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using this simple uh, method today, but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And remember, we are first and foremost an educational company only, so all examples are strictly for educational purposes. Now, once again, if you'd like to get more education on a daily basis, please feel free to follow us on Twitter or X, however you want to label it there. There's our handle 
abbreviation for specialist trading. I post upwards of uh, five or seven different snapshots a day of setups that our methods have generated and also bits of financial wisdom. So there's lots of ways to stay in touch with us. You can follow us on Twitter. Also, we are live streaming this on YouTube right now. So there's lots of ways to keep up uh, with us uh, on YouTube. Uh, if you like this presentation, if you follow it on YouTube, please uh, like us and give us a thumbs up and we'll have a lot more of them in the future as well, okay? Now remember, we are first and foremost an educational company. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that in today's presentation, you're not going to hear me say what I think the market's going to do. Is it going to go lower? Is it going to stop and go back up? You're not going to hear any of that because once again, that's not what a good mentor does. A good mentor does not trade for you. He teaches you how to trade. So that's my goal. And this is the same way I was taught. When I first started working on the floor of the stock exchange some 47 years ago, I struggled probably the way many of you are struggling right now. So I know what it's like. It's very frustrating and very discouraging and depressing because you're seeing all your hard work go into trying to learn how to trade. And then you're seeing your losses and your money uh, start to go out the window. It, it's discouraging. But what we do is really try to educate you so that hopefully you can get on that right track. So my goal is to simply teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. This is the same edge that kind of saved my trading and turned my trading around and helped me trade for the next 47 years. And hopefully we can do that for you as well, okay? Now we have a good crowd here today. So the first announcement I want to make before we begin is, please, if you have questions, wait till the end. I know uh, some uh, webinars you go to, they like to take questions, it's interactive. I love to take your questions, but I want to get to them at the very end because I have a lot of slides to share with you. And if we stop for every slide to answer a question, we'll be here far too long. So if you do have a question, write it down or try to remember it. I promise I'll get to it at the very end. Also, this is being recorded. So if something uh, doesn't make sense or you want to review it again, don't worry. We're going to send each and every one of you a link to this recording so you can watch it at your own leisure. Okay, so uh, two things I wanted to let you know right off before we begin. All right, with that stated, let's begin today's educational presentation. I'd like to start off with something that my mentors taught me that is the theme of today's class. And here's what they taught me uh, roughly about four de decades ago on the trading floor of the stock exchange. They said, Steve, in order to become consistent, you need to learn how to listen to the market. You see, because once again, it is simple to say, well, all we have to do is be in sync with the market. But the market speaks a different language than we speak. You know, it's like trying to converse with someone who speaks French and you don't speak French or someone who speaks Spanish and they're talking to you and you don't speak Spanish, you only speak English. So that's the trouble. The market is, is another entity that speaks an entirely different language. So in order to be consistent, we need to know how to speak that language or at least have a translator. For example, you can look at this chart right here and say to yourself, well, Steve, I know what the market wants to do. I know how to listen to the market because look at it, it's going straight down. So what do I need to listen to? I, I know I can see it in front of me. It's going straight down. But just like it says here, just when you think the market is headed in one direction and you're listening to it correctly, then it does something else and heads in the other direction, okay? So it's very difficult to listen to the market simply by looking at a chart. Sure, you can get a better idea, but you're not gonna get the same process if you had a translator. Imagine. If you don't speak the language of someone else and you're trying to have a conversation, you're not going to get you know very much communication going. But if you have a translator, well, then you understand what they're trying to say to you. It's no different with the markets. We need a translator. And the translator is the pet D. This is a tool I was introduced to some four decades ago on the floor of the stock exchange. I use on a daily basis. It's probably the best tool I know of that can translate what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. And as I said, I've been using it now for over four decades and that's how much I believe in it. So let me share with you how the PET D works if you're not familiar with it. Let's look at that older chart once again, where it was going straight down and all of a sudden it turned on a dime and went straight up. How could the PET D have helped us? Well, the PET D has been uh, generated and uh, changed and transferred into an algorithm. We took all of the hard work out of it for you so that you don't have to calculate it by hand the way I did. We used to call it the formula in those days, and we had to use a hand calculator and calculate almost on a tick-by-tick -tick basis. But now we've developed it with our programmers into a color bar tool. And it colors the bars just two colors, red for a downtrend 
and green for an uptrend. So once you apply it on our platform, you see that it gives you fair warning. We would have known well in advance because we had a series of red bars that it wanted to go lower. And once we had a series of green bars right here, we knew well in advance that it wanted to go higher. So the beauty of the pet D is it says here is that it literally translates what any market wants to do. Okay. So how is that going to help us in today's educational presentation? Well, I want to share with you this trading technique using the pet D. And this is how you can become a consistent trader because once again, we are going to be applying the pet D as a translator, translating what the market wants to do. Now, remember, we said the secret is to be in sync with the market. I'm going to share with you two edges to get you in sync with the overall trend and with the short-term trend. I know a lot of traders are always telling me, hey, Steve, uh, I was always taught to look at two different time frames or maybe two different charts or two different markets to find out what the real trend is to be in sync. Well, remember, that's overcomplicating things. And in my opinion, I have never, just personally, I have never found any type of consistency using two different time frames. Never. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of an urban myth. All that has done for my trading has kept me out of actually a lot of winning trades. Because while I've waited for the two time frames to be in sync, I've missed the trade waiting for that. So what I tell students is, listen, don't overcomplicate by looking at more than one time frame. There's no reason to do that. This technique that I'm going to share with you right now only uses one chart, one time frame. It's so much simpler, and it's literally two clicks away on our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform. I developed this with ProTrader Strategies to make trading simple, and it actually teaches you how to become a consistent trader. Okay, so let's go through the process here. Let's look at this chart in Oracle. This was just a month ago, okay? Someone looking at this would say, well, it doesn't really want to do anything. I mean, if I'm trying to translate what this wants to do, I have no idea. It's going sideways. So I'm going to stay away from this because I'll most likely just either be in this for a long time waiting for it to do something. It'd be much better if I waited for it to break out and to tell me, all right? So that's how I translate. Or I'll wait for the earnings, right? That's the way I've always been taught. Wait for the earnings. That's what tells me what the market wants to do. Or wait for that trading guru on TV to tell me what he thinks of this stock. Once again, these things sound familiar. This is the same way I used to trade and the way I was taught to trade nearly five decades ago. And if it didn't work then, trust me, it's not going to start to miraculously start working now. Let me share with you a much simpler and easier process and something, once again, that puts the power in your hands that you can make your decisions, not relying on anyone or anything else like, like an economic report or like some guy in a chat room. You have to make your own trading decisions. All right, here's the process on our platform. We want to find out what the overall trend is. So on our platform, what we want to do is click on the buy sell line. This tells us whether we should be a buyer looking for things to be bought in the overall trend or to sell in the overall trend. Now, I know it may sound complicated, but the buy-sell line is just the 50-period moving average. That's all it is. And the way it works is that if price is above the 50-period moving average, the overall trend is up. So therefore, we're only going to look for buy setups. It's that simple. Now, if price were below the 50-period moving average, the overall trend is down and we're only looking for sell setups. That's it. If you learn this one simple rule, you've probably taken about half of the roadblocks out of your trading because you're learning to listen to the market. The market is telling you this. I'm not telling you this. There's some economic report or some earnings report is not telling you this. The chart in front of you, the very source of what you're trading is telling you, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to go up on the overall trend. Okay. So you have that out of the way. But now we want to find out what the market wants to do on the short-term trend. Now, the way most traders have been taught is they say, oh, well, you go down to a smaller time frame, right? Or you look at a different stock on a different uh, level and, and you look and see what that's doing. No, that's silly. It's overcomplicating things. Stay on the same chart. What we want to do is get our translator. The translator is the pet D. And on our platform, you simply click on the pet D and it automatically changes the colors. Okay? Now, remember... The pet D, the way it works, the color bars are when you see red on the short term, the market is translating, it wants to go down. And when you see green, it's telling you it wants to go up. So how will this work for us? Well, we have to be in sync. The overall trend needs to be in sync with the short term trend. 
No need to look at two different time frames, two different charts. We can just look at this chart and say, okay, well, right here, we are above the 50 period moving average. So the overall trend is up, but right here, we're out of sync because the short-term trend says, no, we want to go down. So we have two conflicting ideas of what the market wants to do. So we're not going to do anything because they are out of sync with one another. So we wait for them to be in sync. Now, when are they in sync? Well, when the short term is in sync with the overall trend. So the overall trend is saying up. And right here on this first green bar, the short term trend is in sync. So that is your buy setup right there. You could buy at the close of that bar. You could place a limit lower. You could buy the opening of the next day. It's up to you. But that is the market telling you that the short term and the overall trend are in sync. It's time to buy. Okay. So what happened? Well, it went up a little bit the next day, but then went right back down. So once again, it's telling you we're out of sync with one another, okay? And then what happened on the very next bar? Back to green. So now it's saying I'm back in sync. So that was another buy setup right here, okay? Now it went up the next day, but once again, back to out of sync. So we're going back and forth in this kind of roller coaster and then back to in sync, another buy setup. I know a lot of you would be saying, well, yeah, but nothing's happening. Uh, I'm getting stopped out. Well, depending on where you place your stop, and we teach you all these things in the course, most likely you wouldn't have been stopped out. You would have uh, been held on to any one of these positions. And that would have been a great idea because look what happened in the following weeks. Jumped up 20 points. Now, here's the way most traders look at scenarios like this. They look and they go, oh, my goodness, look at that good news came out here. The stock gapped up. Uh, 15, 20 points, and now it's too late to buy. I missed it. So what do I do? Should I buy it or I'll wait for it to come down lower and then I'll buy again? But uh, Or maybe you'll go short thinking that, well, it's up too much. That guy in that chat room says you should sell. So if it's good enough to sell, I'll go short. And either way you lose, right? Nothing <laughs> is working in your uh, direction. This is the way and reason why most traders fail. You haven't been in sync with the market because you didn't have a translator. But if you knew this technique, Weeks in advance, before that news or event came out right here, the market was telling you, I want to go higher. It was screaming it wanted to go higher. It gave you three chances to get in. Now, obviously, some news or some event happened that caused it to gap up 20 points. Isn't it funny how the market was telling you that in advance? This is why we don't focus on any type of fundamental news or in information because there's no reason to. The market's telling you what it wants to do. If you learn how to listen to the market, there's no reason to listen to news. There's absolutely no reason. In fact, this is what my mentors taught me almost five decades ago. And I thought they were crazy when they said that because I was trained to look at the earnings, to look at all the economic reports. And they said, listen, if you're investing for the long haul, sure, you need to know the inner workings of the company and which direction it's headed and who, who the CEO is and his goal for the company. But if you're trading from a day to maybe a month or two, there's no reason to look at that because the market is talking to you. So why would you listen to an outside source? And I had a really difficult time grasping that. But when I finally did, I realized they were right. So I stopped looking at news over four decades ago. I haven't looked at any news in my trading. I don't care because I have scenarios like this where I'm just listening to what the market is saying. Let's look at another example here. Let's look at the UNP, Union Pacific. Same exact thing. There's real no clear cut way. Did it bottom out here? Is it going back up? Or here we have some type of candle pattern where it looks like a, it's an evening star. Maybe it's going lower. I don't know what this is doing, right? This is reason why traders fail because you don't really know how to listen to the market. First thing we teach our students is to always apply the buy sell line. It's as easy as one click on our platform and you're right there. And automatically, you know what the overall trend is. Well, you can tell if someone's saying, what do you think of this stock? You can just click that on and say, the market's telling me, not my opinion, the market is telling me it wants to go lower on the overall trend. But that's not enough. You need it to be in sync with the short-term trend. No need to look at a different time frame, a different chart. Click on the pet D. And we see here that the two were in sync when they were both red and we were below the 50 period moving average. But at this point on this green bar, they are out of sync. So they're out of sync. What you want to do is wait for the first bar that gets back in sync. And that was this bar right here. So that is your sell. Now, if you were long, this would be a good time to exit to get out of the trade. Or if you were thinking about going short or buying some puts, this would be a good time. Because look what happened. 
stock fell 10 points, okay? So see, this is how simple trading can be when you are in sync with the overall trend and the short-term trend. It's a simple two-step process using the buy-sell line, which is a 50-period moving average, and the PET D. And you see how simple it is on our platform. It's just one and two clicks. That's it. And then you automatically know how to approach this particular market. And this can be applied to futures, currency pairs, crypto, uh, ETFs. It makes no difference. All right, look at some more examples here. JPM. All right, this is going back to the beginning of the year. Once again, can't really tell what this thing wants to do. It looked like it topped out here, but now it's starting to come back up higher. First thing we do is apply the 50 period moving average. And we say, well, you know, the overall trend is up. So I'm a buyer in this, but I have to have a little bit more structure. So we apply the PET D. And we see here that when the bars were green, we were in sync with the overall trend. We had three or four red bars. So this was telling us we were out of sync. So what we want to do is wait for the first bar to be back in sync. And that is our buy setup. And that's right here. Okay. Now it happened again. Just a couple of bars later, we had a red bar, meaning we're out of sync. So we want to wait for the first green bar. And so we have two setups that we could have taken advantage of. This was uh, mid to end of January, about three or four months ago, 35 points after that. OK. Someone could say, wow, how did you know uh, JPM was going higher? Or did you look at the company? Did you look at the earnings? No, the market told us. We just learned how to listen to the market. How about Apple? Okay, this is going back to February in Apple. Once again, looks okay. It's had a nice run up. Maybe it's just consolidating before it goes higher. But if we apply the 50 period moving average, no, we knew as well back as early February that this wanted to go lower. The overall trend was down. So we apply the PET D to find out what the short term trend is. And we see we were in sync right here. But what we want to do is wait for them to be out of sync. And here we are. We have two bars. We're out of sync with the market right here. Okay. So once we're out of sync, we wait for the first bar to be back in sync. And that was right here. So this is our first red bar. So we could sell there. And then it happened a couple of bars later. We go short again. So two bars here that gave us opportunities to sell. This is when the stock was trading roughly around 189. And look what happened. Fell 20 points coming into March. Okay. Yeah, you see that I haven't looked at any news. I haven't looked at any earnings. I don't care what the market's doing. I don't care what uh, is going on uh, around the world. It doesn't matter. The market's telling you what it wants to do. All right, let's look at this example once again in Meta. How did we take advantage of that? This is the first uh, slide I shared with you at the beginning of the presentation. Well, we knew to go long, even though it looked like we were in a downtrend. Well, where was price in relation to the 50 period moving average? Price was above. So we're never going to sell anything or go short anything if it's above the 50, sure, if we're long and we want to take a profit, sure, we can do that. We can get out and say, hey, listen, I've got a nice profit. I just want to take some cash out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about trading in the opposite direction. I would never advise anyone to buy a put or to go short if the, the market is above the 50. And in this case, we were above the 50. So even though it may have looked as if we were in a downtrend, no. You have to look at this as a buying opportunity, but we need a little bit more structure. So we apply the PET D and we see here that we were in sync. So we're waiting for bars to be out of sync. And we have one, two, three bar, four bars out of sync, excuse me, four bars out of sync. So we're waiting for the first bar to be back in sync. And that's this one. So that's our buy setup. And there's 35 points you could have taken advantage of in the next three days. Okay. That's how simple this process is. Let's look at Boeing, okay? Now, this is a chart going back uh, nearly a couple of months. There's so much news and negative news and information on Boeing. I mean, even though I don't look at news, I can't help but see, uh, you know, online or on TV uh, announcing that uh, something uh, terrible about Boeing or whatever. Okay, isn't it funny how this has been below the 50-period moving average for months? So why do we even have to care about what the news is? The market's telling us it wants to go lower on the overall trend. And if we apply the PET D... Well, we can see that, guess what? It's been also telling us that it was in sync, it got out of sync, back in sync again, out of sync, back in sync again. So what does that mean? Every time it got back in sync after a green bar, that's a sell setup, okay? So we had two chances to go short Boeing or to exit, hopefully we weren't long. This is when price was roughly uh, in the 200s, 205. 
And look what happened. It immediately fell down to like 180, 190, all right? Now, a little bounce took place. Does that mean it bottomed out? No, we're still below the 50-period moving average. You could have taken your uh, uh, profits if you wanted to. But once again, if you were still holding on and wanted to get short, you had another chance. We're in sync. We're out of sync right here. We could have got back in sync right here, out of sync, back in sync. So two more opportunities to sell. And if you had held on from the beginning, 35 points. Remember, the price was originally in the 200s. Okay. This is how simple this process is. If you don't believe how simple it is, just go back and look at your last 10 or 20 trades. All right. I can almost guarantee you the reason you lost was because you were buying below the 50 period moving average or selling to go short above the 50 period moving average. It's that easy. Go back and do your research. That's how powerful it is once you learn how to be in sync with the trends. Okay, let's look at this example. How could we have taken advantage of this uh, chart in GE? This is why most traders you know, always like to take the victim mode. They, go, they look and they go, gosh, why didn't I get long? How did I know it was gonna go up like that? If I had only known, but you know, it's, uh, who knows? I mean, there was never any announcement. Uh, you know, there was nothing big going on in the market. How did I know GE was gonna take off? You know, I didn't look at the earnings or anything. Remember, this is the way I used to trade. And this is why it doesn't help you to think that way. What will help you is to be in sync with the overall trend, listening to the market, applying the 50 period moving average and see how we knew well in advance, way back here. This is going back to 2023 that GE was above its 50 period moving average. So it was telling you the overall trend is up, okay? Now all we wanna do is be in sync with the short-term trend. So we apply the PET D and look at these chances. Every time it got out of sync, you waited for the first bar to be in sync. There was your buy opportunity, another one here and another one here. So see, traders love to play the victim game. They love to play, myself included, when I first started, it's like, gosh, how come I couldn't have taken advantage of that? Why did, didn't I see that coming? Or how come uh, you know, I wasn't aware of that? Well, with this simple process, you can be, and you never have to go down that road and you can say, listen, I know what the market wants to do. I don't have to subscribe to that signal service. I don't have to wait after the market closes every day to see what the guys are saying on TV. I can let go of all those things that really haven't helped me and start to listen to my own decisions and become consistent. That's what we try to instill in all of our students around the world. <clears throat> all right, let's look at UNH. Once again, someone looking at this would say, Steve, the market's telling me it doesn't know what it wants to do, right? It's totally going sideways. So it's I don't have to use all these fancy pet D things. It's telling me it wants to go lower. Well, is it really telling you that? Maybe it wants to go higher. Who knows? What you have to do is apply the pet D. Because look what happened. The market was telling you something, and it did go lower. But how did we know? If you had applied the 50-period moving average, you would have known in advance it was telling you it wanted to go lower. And you simply apply the pet D. And look at the chances it gave you to get in sync right here. Two chances to go short. Eventually, you could have captured 45 points coming into just last week. Let's look at CAT. Once again, potentially captured 65 points by these two examples right here. It got in sync right here. The PET D in sync with the overall trend right here. We look at Charter. Once again, you could have potentially taken advantage of 100 points coming into just a few months ago. We're below the 50 period moving average and we were out of sync with these two green bars. Once we got back in sync, that was your signal to sell. We're out of sync again, another chance to sell. And look what happened. Once again, a gap down. Isn't it funny how we knew days in advance to go short before that gap down and that strong sell-off? There is absolutely no reason, absolutely no reason to concern yourself with fundamental news, in my opinion. We never teach that. If you want to look at fundamental news, that's your prerogative. You can do whatever you want. But it's been my experience, once again, going on five decades now, that the only thing that serves is to get you confused and it's too subjective. I can tell you just literally dozens of times when I was on trading on the floor of the stock exchange, I used to be a specialist. That's where we get the name specialist trading. I was in charge of making markets in roughly 50 or 60 stocks. Anyone wanted to buy or sell, they had to go up to the trader who specialized in making a market. That's what I did. So I had to, I was taught, I had to learn and know everything about each and every company, know about the earnings, know about the direction of the company, right? Well, I can't tell you how many times 
uh, I had estimated what the earnings were and when they came out better than expected, our stock would go straight down. Or when terrible news came out about a stock I was making a market in, it would go straight up. So we want things that are more cut and dry, simple and easy to apply, like is price above or below the 50 period moving average? You know, there's no uh, gray area there. It's either above or below. So you know if the overall trend is up or down. And also is the bar green or red? Is it in sync with the overall trend? It's that simple. There's no subjectivity. There's no room for error. There's, it's just, you know, right off the bat. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that this works 100% of the time because if you've been trading long enough, you know nothing works 100% of the time. But that's okay. Remember, trading is not about having some magical system that never fails. It doesn't exist. In fact, nothing in life exists that way. You know, through hobbies, through anything, endeavors, even relationships, nothing works 100% of the time. What you want is an edge. You want an edge. And even the uh, casino operators, you know, all the, the major casinos, they only have a 1% or 2% edge. But they, every day they're consistently profitable. And that's all they need. So we just need an edge, something to be in our favor. And over time, that will make us a consistent trader. Now, let's look at some other time frames, okay? If you trade other time frames in, in the market, let's look at a weekly chart of Costco. Here's the same that pattern here. We have a chart that's absolutely going nowhere, sideways. And this is a weekly chart. Each one of these bars represents a week. Well, someone would say, gosh, doesn't do anything, but we apply the buy-sell line. We go through the same process. We see that even though for months we've been going sideways, the overall trend is up. So we're not going to bypass this. We're going to look for buying opportunities. The way we do that is by applying structure, the pet D. And the first thing we want to do is look for it to be out of sync with the overall trend. So with the green bars, we're in sync. But here we are out of sync. And now on the first bar that's back in sync, that's our buy setup. So we had two chances, one here and then another one here to actually go long and to buy Costco. This was back in October, uh, actually August and October of 2023, nearly a year ago. And look what happened. Coming into last month, you could have potentially captured 245 points. So this just doesn't work on daily bars. We can look at actually another weekly bar. This is BIIB, okay, Biogen. Once again, we are below the 50. And even though we've had this rise here on these weekly bars, each one of these bars equals a week. This is a selling opportunity. This is not a buying opportunity. Why? Because the overall trend is still up. So we're not looking at this in our order to go long or to create a long position. We're looking at this to go short or to get out of a long position. Now we apply the second part of the process, the PET D, and we see that, okay, we're looking for when we're out of sync and we're out of sync right here. All right, all these bars are green. All right, that's out of sync with the overall downtrend. But once we get back in sync with a red bar, that is our sell signal, okay? So now we know to exit or to go short, this was January of this year, 50 points to the downside coming into this month. Now, those were weekly bars, if you're some type of a uh, intermediate type of investor or trader. How about a monthly bar? What if you're a long-term investor, okay? Let's go back to 2019, 2020. Look at this. The market is going sideways once again in SAM. That's the Boston Beer Company. But... Price is above the 50. So once again, someone would say, well, this stock doesn't know what it wants to do. I know it's a very expensive stock, but maybe you're thinking about getting an odd lot or maybe five, 10 shares or 100 shares at the most for your long-term investment. We use the same process. It doesn't matter if we're looking at a five-minute chart or if we're looking at a monthly chart. We apply the PET D and we're in sync right here, but we want to look for the first bar that's out of sync. And once we see that, then we wait for the first bar to be back in sync, which is right here. So this was our buy signal back in February of 2020, four years ago. We could have purchased the stock and potentially captured nearly a thousand points in the next year. Okay. Now, did we know anything about the company? I know it's a beer company. Did we know anything else about that? I knew absolutely nothing. Anything about the earnings? Anything about what's going on with the CEO? No. Why? Remember, all you need to do is learn how to listen to what the market wants so you can be in sync. That is the secret to trade consistency. How could we have taken advantage of this five-minute chart in Apple? This was actually just going back to uh, a week or so ago, the 11th, which was last Thursday, not even a week ago. All right, looking in hindsight, sure, 
the stock went up straight up in this five minute time frame. Okay, if you're an intraday trader, do we have to change anything because we're looking at a five minute chart? No. First thing we do is apply the 50 period moving average. Once again, we knew well back in advance that the overall trend was up. We apply the pet D and look at all these chances where we were out of sync and then got back in sync. Look at all these chances. You had a buy setup right there, another one right here, another here, another one here. Look at all the chances to take advantage of that 10 points you could have potentially captured in just one day. So we've looked at weekly charts. We've looked at monthly charts. We looked at a five minute chart. Nothing changes if you wanna be in sync with the market. There's absolutely nothing that you need to do other than this two-step process. So ask yourself, we're already a third of the way through 2024, if you can believe it. Do you think this confirmation tool can help your trading for the remainder of the year? You think this simple confirming process of being in sync with the market can help you going forward through 2024? I think your answer is yes. So because of that, we have a great attendee discount for all of you taking the time out to watch this educational presentation. We're going to offer you our roadmap for any market, a roadmap for success. Success. This is the Pet D Early Trend Detector. You're going to get the proprietary color bar algorithm. This is going to also include a total of four trading techniques. Now, this is just one of them I shared with you. You're going to get more on this. A, two continuation trading techniques. Continuation means in sync going forward with the trend. They're all in trend, in sync with the trend, but one is buying higher and buying higher as it continues to go up. And another two are pullback trading techniques in sync with the trend again, but buying at the lower levels. You're also going to get a trailing stop technique. Remember, the pet D can be applied to virtually any market and any time frame and any strategy as well. So it doesn't matter what market you trade. It can be one of your own strategies, one of mine. It can be applied to any time frame. That's how versatile the PET D is. Now, everything you saw today was displayed coming from the PTS Primo Charting Platform. Once again, I developed this to make trading simple. There's nothing you have to calculate or figure out or formulate. You saw how easy it was applying the buy sell line and the PET D. Everything was one click away. Well, guess what? We have a great, great offer here. Till Friday only, you're going to get full year, absolutely free of the platform. So if you decide to become a student of mine in the Pet D course, we're also going to throw in a full free year of the platform where it makes applying the Pet D really simple. Now, you're not just going to get the Pet D. You're going to get all these other things that I've accumulated in my nearly 50 years of trading. And these things that we have on the platform, such as the enhanced buy-sell line, the strength of trend tool, uh, auto-generated exit levels, and our signal scanner. You won't find them anywhere else. And many of these tips and techniques are things that you only uh, see on our platform because I've taken from my days on the floor. They're really fantastic, very powerful tools that you won't find on any other platform. Now, here's what I feel is worth its weight in gold, the signal scanner, because we make scanning simple. You can scan virtually for any market in any time frame. And we give you a list of different markets like ETFs, we give you a list of markets like uh, uh, crypto, uh, uh, NASDAQ 100, S&P 500, stocks, uh, uh, other market exchanges, anyone you want to choose from. You can even make your own basket of stocks to, to scan for. But let me show how simple it is. If Let's say you were a Forex trader. Here's a four-hour chart of the Canadian dollar. You could have scanned for the same process and saw that there was a buy signal right here. And look what happened. There you had potentially 200 pips in the next three or four days that you could have taken advantage of using the exact same process, but you could have scanned for this, okay? Also, here's a weekly chart of gold, okay? Spot gold, as we see here, same process once again. This was weekly charts in February. There was a buy signal here, another buy signal here, and look how gold has gone up. Isn't it funny how gold, uh, people have been talking about, wow, gold is really doing well. Well, it's funny how our students who traded this pet D technique knew to get long back in January and February, not based on anything that's going on worldly, economically, uh, nothing, based off only listening to the market. That's how, that's how simple it is. Now, I know that a lot of you are saying, well, you know, I kind of understand this process. Okay, I get it, Steve. What you're looking for is uh, basically you're looking for something like this. The market's going down or sideways. And you're looking for the first up bar, right? That's how simple it is. And, and here where we're going down, you have another up bar here. 
I really don't, what, what do I need to spend my money on the pet D? It's simple. For example, a trader would say in this chart in ZTS, okay, obviously we're going lower. Here we are. If the pet D didn't turn green here, it's turning green here. So all I have to do is buy right here, right? This is what a lot of students say, potential students. They say, I don't need to become a student of yours, Steve. I got to figure it out. I can figure out where the pet D would turn green. But this is inevitably what happens, okay? They say to themselves, how come it's not working? Why did it work for you, but it didn't work for me? Well, it's because you didn't apply the correct process. Remember, once again, what's the overall trend? The overall trend was down. Once we had consecutive closes below, the market was telling you, I want to go lower. So why would you even consider buying? And then secondly, if you had the pet D, you needed a green bar, even if you weren't using the 50 period, which you have to, but this was red. So you had both of these in sync. The overall trend was telling you, I want to go lower. The short-term trend was telling you, I want to go lower. So you had the market telling you to sell, not to buy, and therefore you would not have lost. This is how powerful it is and why you need this. You can't just sit here and decide for yourself and say, hey, I got to figure it out. I know how to do it. Unfortunately, so many potential students do this. They'll come to us and say, okay, I'm ready to become a student of the Pet D. I tried to figure it out on my own for the last couple of months and I've lost a ton of money. It, it won't work that way. You need the Pet D and you need our platform to really help you apply this process. So this is the secret to trading consistency. Being in sync with the overall trend and the short-term trend will get you on to that road. So take your trading to the next level. Become a student of the Pet D course. I'll be there with you every step of the way. If you have any questions, any concerns, I can help you. All right, so let's break it down. All right, here's our roadmap for any market, the Pet D. Usually this course would cost you close to $5,000, okay? And it's just a one-time fee that you have to pay for $49.95, and that's normally what the Pet D course costs. But we're going to break it down. We're not going to charge you $49.95. The Pet D course and application plus the platform would normally cost you close to $6,200 because remember, we're talking about throwing in the platform. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to discount that and only charge you $39.95, a one-time fee of $39.95. You're going to save over $2,100. But get this. If you can't come up with a $39.95, that's okay. You can still establish a payment plan. What that means is for a fraction of $39.95, you can still be on board with the Pet D course, establish a payment plan with ProTrader Strategies, my sister site that deals with all the discounts and the payments. And you can still be up and running as early as today. And remember, even if you decide to pay with a payment plan or pay in full $39.95 discount, of over $2,100, you're still gonna get a full free year of the platform with all those extra things included. So this is a great, great deal, a great way to get your trading consistent. Here's how to take advantage of it. My sister site, once again, Pro Trader Strategies, I developed the platform with them. They're in charge of all the discounts, all the tech support. You can reach them at trading at protraderstrategies.com. I would highly recommend giving them a call. There's absolutely no obligation. They would give you a quote if you wanted to establish a payment plan. But I would, I would really recommend giving them a call at area code 310-598-6677. They have trading consultants that are very flexible. They would be willing to give you a quote over the phone or give you more information about tech support, about data, about how to apply it to your current strategy or your method. And they're very knowledgeable. And uh, as I said, there's no... Uh, obligation. So don't feel uh, uh, you know intimidated that you have to purchase something. They're there to work with you. Okay. Now, if you want more information and want to go to the info page, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the info page. There's more information about the offer as well as you can sign up there if you like. But that's not a live link. So they just posted a live link in the webinar chat box. Okay. So if you open that up, you'll see a live link posted there. Now, I promised you I would answer your questions at the very end. I'm going to leave this information up here if you'd like to copy it down, copy it down the phone number, and uh, you can uh, 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 copy it down or write it down, or you can ask me a question right now. So let's reserve the last couple of minutes for any questions you, you may have. Either go to the chat box or the question and answer box, and I promise I'll answer each and every one. Uh, I believe someone was asking, how can I apply this to my own strategy? Well, there are many ways to apply the petty. First of all, I just shared with you one way. Uh, there are literally dozens of ways to apply and they, we share these with you in the course. 
Uh, but with your strategy, if you're trading, let's say a strategy and you say, listen, my strategy is okay. I'd like something to kind of carry it over, take it over the top and be a lot more consistent. You can also apply the PET D. So just think of it this way. When your strategy generates a buy signal, you just want to make sure that that bar that the signal has been generated on is colored green. It's that simple. And you will have a higher level of consistency. Now, let's say your strategy generates a sell signal. Well, you just want to make sure that that signal uh, is colored red. That bar is colored red. You'll have a higher level of consistency. If you want to even uh, make more consistency in your method, apply the 50 period moving average. So if your strategy generates a buy signal, but it's below the 50 period moving average, I would recommend not taking that because over time, uh, you won't have anything to show for it. Most likely that won't work out. Remember, this is an edge. It's a numbers game. And we're trying to put the odds in your favor. And the way you do that right off the bat is by only buying, taking buy setups that are above the 50 and only taking sell setups that are below the 50. Then you combine this with the PET D, you increase your odds for consistency even more, regardless of which strategy or which method you're trading, which market you're trading as well. Now, I just showed you one technique. Remember, we have a total of four that we're offering you in this course. So you're going to get that along with a stop placement technique, as well as different exit levels, different uh, uh, entry posts, and also different stop placement posts. Lots of great free information and everything comes with a full free year of the platform. Okay, great, great offer. Okay, uh, next question. What if I don't understand it? Who do I talk to? Oh, well, you talk to yours truly. Now, unfortunately, I can't be there with you sitting right next to you when you want to go through a trade or looking for some setups, but I can do the next best thing. I can give you my personal and private email address. I always tell this to all my new course members in any course I'm teaching that don't worry, whatever time or whatever time you're looking at uh, the market and studying with whatever course, the Pet D course in this case, uh, we have many students in Europe. We have students in Canada. We have students all over the world, different time zones. I say, it's okay email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I answer emails uh, before the opening. I answer emails after the close. I even answer emails of my students on the weekends. So these emails go directly to me. They don't go to an assistant. They don't go to tech support. They don't go to a salesperson. They come directly to me. And so no one else will see your question and I can answer it personally for you. So there's lots of great ways to still learn and become consistent and not feel as if, well, the way I did when I was first starting, like, I feel like there's no one I had to turn to when I was struggling. I just didn't have any idea what to do. And I thought, who can I talk to who will help me? I was lucky enough to have mentors who trained me the same way I trained my students. So hopefully I'll be able to help you as well. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, someone says, what does the PET D stand for? The PET D is just abbreviation for the Primo Early Trend Detector. And the reason why we call it that is because when I first started using this some uh, 45 years ago on the floor, uh, it was we called it the formula because it was something we had to calculate by hand. It was too cumbersome, it was too difficult. And so we had to rename it. We didn't want to call it the formula because we, with the help of uh, uh, programmers and, and uh, high-speed computers, we developed it into a color bar algorithm. So we've taken all the hard work out of it for you. And the secret is not in knowing what the formula is, because trust me, if I did tell you what the algorithm was, you would be so confused. You say, you know, okay, never mind. I don't need to know this because it's too cumbersome. The secret in the Pet D is knowing how to apply it. And that's what we share with you in our courses. That's the true secret of the PET D. Because I guarantee if I gave people for free the algorithm and the formula for generating the PET D on their own, most likely they'd lose money. Because even though they knew how to use it, they wouldn't know how to apply it correctly. And most likely they would use it entirely opposite way in which I'm teaching students. So uh, take it from someone who's been using it for over four decades now. I use it every day. Here's a perfect example. I, I like to trade the E-mini futures because I'm in and out quickly. And that was kind of my, my training and my background when I first started on the floor. So to this morning, I had a total of three trades. My very first trade this morning was a losing trade. So it's okay. It's it, that's normal. Like I said, it, it's perfectly okay because nothing works 100% of the time. My next trade was a winner where I made back my loss and then some. And then I had one more trade, which was another winner. So that's the way trading is. Remember, it's a, it's a numbers game. Two step forward, one step back. Now, one step back is when you lose a little. That two step forward is when your method or idea or, or strategy is profitable, okay? 
Uh, last question. Someone's asking, can I get a replay of this webinar to my email? Yes. Each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording. So you can get it in your email. You'll just be able to watch it at your own leisure whenever you like, okay? If that helps you decide. And I know uh, I, there's no pressure. I don't want you to think, well, I've got to make a decision today. No, take your time, watch this and, 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 and uh, get an idea, a better idea, see if it could help you. Go back and look at your last 20 trades and say, wow, that 50 period moving average uh, technique really does work. It could have saved me a lot of money. And then if you think that can work so well, just think how much the pet D would be able to help you. And then once you make a decision, if you do make a decision, contact Pro Trader Strategies. Unfortunately, this is for a limited time. So most likely just up until this weekend and then that's it. So don't sit on this the way so many other students do. They've said, well, gosh, I, I, you know, I didn't make a decision until about two months later. And then when I contacted Pro Trader Strategies, that deal was over and I had to spend close to $6,000, you know? I'd rather you spend much, much less than that and really take advantage of this great offer, okay? So yes, you will all be sent a link to this recording after we conclude today. Okay, well, I think that's it for questions. I see no more. You've been a great class. I want to thank you for taking time out of your Wednesday. And remember, here's the information. If you have any questions going forward, just call Pro Trader Strategies. They would be more than happy to uh, answer any question. They would be more than happy to, uh, you know, uh, you know, see what you're uh, interested in and maybe establish a payment plan with you, okay? As we close and take one last look at our disclaimer, I just want to thank you for attending I wish you all the best of luck. Remember to contact Pro Trader Strategies with questions. But lastly, I look forward to you all becoming a student of mine in the Petty course. Thank you so much for taking the time out of today. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.